Now our next section is on feeding and nutrition. As a smallholder dairy farmer, it is important to feed your animals uh, on the right uh, feed and with the right content. In this section, we are going to look at the quality of the feeds, the quantity of the feeds that uh, need to be given to the animals, the need for clean water, and talk about growing your own feeds at the farm, and also the feed allocation. When talking about quality of feeds, uh, the farmer should uh, make sure that the animals feed on good quality feeds because uh, the feed conversion uh, to milk is dependent uh, on the quality of the feeds that is given to the animal. Feeds are of different types and the farmer can give the animal uh, feeds uh, that are grown on the farm. These are pastures. We also have fodder that can be given to uh, the animals. We also have uh, minerals and other supplements which comprise uh, a part of the uh, <coughs> uh, components that are added to feeds and given to the animals. Uh, the farmer should always uh, be careful to make sure that uh, the right uh, qualities of feeds are given uh, to the animals by sourcing feeds from the uh, right and approved uh, uh, feed manufacturers. At the same time, the feeds that uh, are harvested from the farm like uh, fodder should be stored uh, in a proper form to avoid contamination and also to avoid uh, infection uh, by other uh, uh, diseases. We also have the quality, the quantity of the feeds. The farmer should be able to determine uh, the need for each animal and uh, the quantity of feeds that each animal should feed on. Uh, this is, uh, is dependent on uh, the records that uh, the farmer should keep, which show the consumption of the feeds at different uh, ages. Uh, for instance, uh, there are those feeds that uh, those animals which uh, are milking and are in milk uh, should feed on and to what quantities. Uh, at the same time, the quantity of feeds given to the farmer, uh, to the animals, is dependent on the production levels of the, of the animals. Normally, the high yielders like the Holstein Frisians will need huge quantities of feeds uh, as well as water. Uh, while uh, those animals uh, who, who can survive on smaller quantities of feeds like the Jersey uh, can be uh, allocated uh, the, the required quantities based on the consumption and feed to milk conversion uh, uh, ratios. They also need to have clean water available for the animals uh, because most of the uh, milk produced by the animals, 80% uh, uh, of it is water. And therefore, animals should uh, be uh, given uh, clean water which uh, can be easily accessed. Uh, uh, and this is advisable that uh, the farmer uh, provide uh, milk, uh, uh, clean um, uh, water closer to the animals where they are feeding from. There's also, uh, it's also important for a farmer uh, to consider growing their own uh, feeds at the farm. If a farmer has a parcel of land, uh, he can put to use that land to grow uh, feeds such as uh, pastures uh, to enable uh, the farmer avail the necessary feeds at a cheaper cost uh, to the animals. Therefore, it is important the farmer uh, considers growing their feeds on the farm if they have enough land uh, so that they can uh, uh, bring in supplements uh, to provide enough feeds for the animals. Feed allocation is also important because uh, the farmer needs to plan uh, the quantities and the amount of feeds that are required uh, for the animals. Different groups of animals within the herd uh, will require different uh, uh, feed uh, quantities uh, and, and uh, qualities based on their, on their age and their requirement. Uh, for the animals that are winning, uh, we have uh, special feeds that need to be given to the animals and these feeds should contain high protein content to enable the, 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 the calves to grow faster and attain maturity within the, the required uh, uh, period. 
Therefore, uh, farmers should always uh, be careful when uh, uh, sourcing for feeds and also make sure that uh, there is a proper ratio given to the animals uh, that will uh, eventually uh, translate to the, uh, the, the equivalent production that is expected. Now let's talk about the nutritional requirements for, um, for dairy cows. And um, it's important for the farmer to know that um, a dairy cow will require uh, different uh, feeds and feed uh, uh, components and proportions at different ages uh, uh, of, of the cow. Um, starting with the calf, uh, you know that a calf will feed uh, most on milk, which is the main feed that uh, is available for, for the cow. Um, in addition to the milk uh, that is given to the cow, uh, the farmer should also provide supplements uh, and other means like uh, calf pellets and calf winners, which uh, also contain uh, a good proportion of protein and, and carbohydrates to enable the calf uh, to grow and also to prepare the calf uh, towards uh, winning. Uh, these feeds, like the calf pellets, will also help the the calf to um, build the rumen so that it's strong enough and uh, prepared uh, to consume uh, tougher feeds uh, at the winning uh, uh, stage. Winners should also be fed on winner's calf and introduced to hay um, in, uh, slowly so that they can, their rumen can harden and be able to um, accommodate uh, more other feeds as they grow up. It's also important that minerals are also included, such as uh, uh, salt um, and other supplements such as dairy meal to enable the calf uh, build up muscles and, and grow uh, fast to the expected uh, 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 growth rate. We also have heifers which uh, will need a lot of energy and a lot of proteins uh, to grow up. And remember, this is a stage where the cow is more active and more, more uh, aggressive and uh, with proper feeding uh, a farmer will be able to uh, have their cow or their heifer attain uh, uh, the productive maturity age uh, at a, uh, that is very that, that is required and therefore the farmer should feed the, the, the heifer on protein and uh, carbohydrates as well as uh, a good proportion of minerals to enable the cow uh, build the organs and prepare uh, herself uh, to uh, getting uh, uh, into the reproduction uh, uh, age. You also have milking cows which should also be fed on good quality feeds that are rich in protein and minerals and carbohydrates. It's important to note that during um, uh, the time of a milking cow, the cow loses a lot of protein because of the milk that is uh, produced by the, the cow. And therefore the cow should be given, um, as I had mentioned earlier, good proportion of uh, protein through supplements like dairy meal to enable the cow recover back uh, the protein that is lost from their body.